Hi Pisces, this is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot. So this is going to be your weekly love reading for July 1st through the 10th. I know it's a couple days late. Um, this is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. If you would like to get a personal reading from me, you can uh, just click on one of the links in the description box below. You can download the Instant Go app also to get a reading within 24 hours from me. I also have some services. I'm doing palm reading on there. Um, and uh, or you can just request request uh, a reading by clicking one of the PayPal links below. Usually it takes about 10 days to get that. I'm sorry, seven days to get that reading, but it really just depends on my booking schedule. Um, lately, I've been a little overdue, so uh, it's really up to you. You can follow me on Instagram too. I, I post readings up there um, under Moon Pie Tarot. And okay, let me just get this. This is my unorthodox shuffling. This is the old school tarot card shuffling. <laughs> um, so this deck, right? It's um, it's a holograph holographic deck. And um, if you're new to my channel, welcome. And um, you're getting to see this deck being used um, for you the first time. So um, I bought the deck off a website called AliExpress. And um, the only thing with it is that it's written in, I guess, Chinese Mandarin. I assume that's what it is. Anyway, if you aren't familiar with that script, it will be difficult for you to read, um, if, especially if you're starting out. Okay, this is what the box looks like. These are what the cards look like. And, you know, as you can see, it's all written in Chinese and the book is as well so i just got it because i already know the cards at least i think i do and i love the uh the holographic but if you want to get it you can always google holographic tarot cards okay so let me get started with your reading here so for pisces sun moon rising or venus july 1st through the 10th now some of these energies may have already happened they could play out during this week or the following so everything is fluid so just try to let it be and wait and see okay i did sh enough shuffling so we'll get started here okay so the fool is in the reverse for the overall energy and then the page of swords is in the reverse starting in the beginning of the week or at least it could be happening now page of wands in the upright hmm. three of wands in the upright dropping cards oh my goodness king of pentacles let me get it together Okay, and the final card, mm, Seven of Swords. Okay, the overall energy, as I was saying, is the Fool in reverse. So, the Fool in reverse usually is an energy of um, someone who's careless. There's it could be a it could be a person in your life but it could also just be energy that's flowing around you could be yours could be another person i will clarify the full in reverse but that card usually represents carelessness or apathy or someone who's absent not around um, or someone who's just unprepared this week okay mm. it's funny okay because the fool usually in the upright is a is a bit similar, but it's mostly about happiness, having fresh hope, taking chances, um, having new beginnings, possible travel. There could be delays in travel or delays in in these things as well. You somebody may not want to be taking a chance this week or having some issue with taking a chance or having a new beginning, delays in travel. Uh, someone may be feeling uh, that, the, that something is hopeless. Or 
or getting to a point of feeling indifferent now. Yeah, the magician is here in reverse. So that's that also is similar in the sense that um, there's just a scattered energy. I just feel like, you know, the energy is not knowing what to do, not knowing which path to take or not even sure about wanting to take a path anymore is what I'm feeling I wanted to clarify again and then I got the hermit so all these three major arcanas so the hermit reversed is extreme isolation uh, feeling lonely or repeating past mistakes or fear of repeating a past mistake Okay, so the Queen of Wands is here. So this could have something to do with a fire sign, male or female. Um, Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. Uh, but it could be your energy as well that, you know, Pisces, you might be taking on the energy of the Queen of Wands. Um, you know, where, where you're actually gaining your confidence as well. And maybe becoming indifferent to a past relationship or at least you know that would be your advice is to you know not try to manifest something with someone to try to isolate yourself from this person whoever you're dealing with this magician in reverse can be a trickster so you may have someone who is you know playing tricks even though even though like when we look at a magician um, you know, he is playing tricks, but in the reverse, it's more like he's doing it for um, malevolent. Is that the word I want to use? Um, he's doing it for, you know, his own purpose. He's doing it to manipulate. Okay, so I feel like you're, you could be going no contact with someone or blocking someone. Um, not taking a chance anymore with a particular person. But I also see some stalking happening here with the page of page of swords and so you might have somebody who's been you know watching you some of you have have a um, uh, you, you're dealing with someone who could be sending you messages also with the page of wands uh, this could be still try, is trying to reach out to you or still trying to connect with you and you don't want to have anything to do with this person um they're they're messaging you but they're they're bringing bad messages they're bringing negative messages or they're harassing you in some way or they could be at least for this week um and i just kind of get the sense whether this is um a significant other or a child in your life or a family member whomever it is I just get a sense of this person like you're going to be hearing from if you haven't already you could be hearing from them this week or maybe uh, you know a little bit after the 10 days oh this just fell out yeah the seven of pentacles reversed so this is like not even looking at the situation anymore. You're just kind of like, I, you don't, I feel like you don't really want to bother. You've invested so much in a past relationship or with in, into something. And you really, you got very little in return except a headache. That, you know, like you, you, you just, and I feel like this person just doesn't want to let go. So now you've got the, the, also the three of wands. So that, you know, that's, I feel like, actually, I don't feel like that's you. I feel like you're kind of like getting to this point where you're, you're strong in your conviction and you know that they're manipulating you. They haven't put any effort in. They're not, all they're doing is just bothering you. They isolate themselves from you often. Um, they're, they seem cold and indifferent to you. And you're, I feel like you're just, you've had enough of that you know but with this three of wands this is 
this is a card of someone's waiting and I feel like you have this person who's still kind of um you know wants to keep expanding this relationship but at the same time isn't isn't willing to let go now some of you could um be dealing with an earth sign this king of pentacles so virgo capricorn or taurus so we have a double virgo here i'm feeling aries gemini um, but you don't so if that doesn't resonate for you don't don't pick it up it's just you're dealing with someone in the king the king of pentacles who presents themselves as someone who is solid and practical and has material success but the seven of swords is next to that and it this person is deceitful and they are not they're trying to get away with something and they they you know they betray they may have they may be betraying you you know or um they could be try, you know watching you and reaching out and trying to uh get you to talk to them and but coming across with the page of wands as if you know they're bringing you good news but then it just turns into bad news it just turns into lies and deception You know, this card can sometimes represent divorce or an affair as well. Someone taking everything and leaving only two left. So if you have, if you are married and you have children and you have two children, you know, someone who's just taking, taking, taking and are trying to take the kids or is, or, you know, they're, they're leaving you very little here. They're just taking too much. And I don't feel like, I, I just kind of get a sense where, I'm sorry, I have to fix this. Pisces, you're just, you're out. You're just like, you're feeling done with this. You don't want to keep doing this. I just want to clarify the King of Pentacles. Because I feel like this King of Pentacles... I feel like he's financially stable or he has enough. Yeah, this is some kind of relationship of some sort that you were involved or a marriage or some type of connection, exclusive connection. It's not just dating. You know, the lovers, so that may not resonate for you if this is just someone you were dating. Um, this lover's card represents, you know, as always, two people who have made a decision to commit. But this, and you know, he could be, he or she, this earth sign or whomever it is, could be coming back, you know, or could be reaching out to you, uh, you know, saying they, they have deep love for you, or, you know, they want partnership, but it's sitting next to the seven of swords. And I just feel like it's not, it's bullshit. I don't feel like this person is being truthful with you. I don't feel like that they treat you well. I want to clarify the Seven of Swords a little more. I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty obvious. Yeah. The Nine of Pentacles reverse. So that it's, it's like the message comes through that what they have, when they lie or when they, try to betray you or say things that aren't true or try to take advantage of you it leaves you in this place of there's jealousy there's envy and financial setbacks when they do the things that they do they cause you to act jealous because they hide and they manipulate things and you're not jealous by nature um, at least from the Pisces that I've met um, but this is what they instigate, what they, what this person brings out in you because they withhold, because they're manipulating and they're deceptive. 
you know, and they're, they, you know, they isolate themselves. The hermit in reverse is someone who goes into like, they just go off the radar. You could be, you know, the, any, even if you're arguing with this person, you, you get nothing in response. All you get in response is them giving you the silent treatment or they're not talking to you. It's almost as if it maybe it's punishment. I don't know, but they become indifferent, indifferent to your needs, indifferent to your values when you want to try to make this relationship work or try to make this this situation get better. You want to expand. You want it to progress, you know, and, and you feel like you're always in this position of waiting. You know, it's it's like I've, I'm seeing puppets, you know, um, you may even this person could live at a distance to you as well if you're you know uh, they they may constantly be delaying travel but then on the other hand they're being they're acting jealous or they're causing you to feel that way and there's gossip as well and spying so that i almost i I don't want to say almost I feel like that, that somebody could be watching you you know they're watching you from afar to see what you're doing I don't know I feel like some of you have either an ex or or someone that you're currently dealing with who is could be you know have that narcissism thing going on I don't I'm not diagnosing because I'm not a doctor but um I feel like you've been dealing with or you know that there's someone in your life male or female whoever it is who has been taking from you and leaving you um, incapable of being the nine of pentacles in the upright because when she's in the upright you know she has her luxuries she's self-sufficient she has financial gain and she enjoys her solo pleasures you know this person you know, she is basically the single female or the, you know, could be the bachelor, depending if you're a male listening, but all of this person's deceit and lies and trickery leaves you, you could be in a relationship with this person and you feel like you're single and they make you feel like you're not good enough, not capable by being with them so you know but I feel like you know <laughs> this week I, there is a chance or at some point that I feel like they're going to try because the lovers is also Gemini could be a sense of connect reconnecting with you these are both you know the king of pentacles if this is Virgo and Gemini are both ruled by Mercury so there could be messages coming um, from this person wanting to reconnect again um, but I see you here your energy with the seven of pentacles reversed saying you know i'm not putting my effort in anymore i can't do it you know you've it's not so much that you're not you know basically i've put so much in you know i've been so patient with this person and i've been waiting for this person to bring back to re, you know the, the reciprocity but you don't feel like you're getting it and you're giving up you know you're just it, you have also the apathy and the indifference now to them because it's the same old thing over and over and you may be feeling you know like oh what do you you know what's going to change what's going to be different and I don't feel like during this time period anything is really going to be different I feel what I'm seeing here is that, you know, they treat you bad and then you pull away and then they come back and they want to try to make things right by saying all this, you know, we're partners, we're soulmates, we, you know, we love each other, you know, give me another chance. And, and then just, it's all deceit. It's all lies. I, you know, I, I'm not going to tell you what to do with that. But I mean, if you if you want to be with that person or if you think you can make it work, of course, you know, you have to do what you have to do. I just I just feel like this week you're not really willing to see if there will be results results at this point. You you may need to if you haven't been in touch with this person, you may need to just 
find a way to for them not to contact you until you can figure out what you want to do even if you already know that it's done or you don't want to be with this person anymore um, I just see you here like you know you're not investing or you're not you're looking back at all you know the chances that you gave them and I don't see you responding to anything this week you know um, even though deep down you want that change and you want this person to be truthful and honest with you um, look justice came in the reverse so this again this is just lies from whoever they are whatever sign that this person is um, justice is dishonesty unfairness maybe some legal problems you could be dealing someone who, with someone who's very bigoted as well if you're in an interracial relationship there could be bigotry there could be someone who's very dis you know discriminates um, with the king of pentacles yes, Virgo gets a rap for that if you're involved with with a Virgo very discriminating you know and makes you that kind of makes you feel like you have to it gives you stress and anxiety it makes you feel like you have to cross all your T's and dot all your I's perfectly to be with this person and then if you're not good enough then they they shut you out and then when you just let them then they come back so you know you have a little bit of um, back and forth play here but I, I feel like you're exhausted and this week I feel like th that's what you will get some kind of an offer from somebody with the ace of Pentacles they will try to reach out and maybe offer you substantial amount of money or, or something huge that you can that that makes you feel like it's real you can touch it this is real this time um, but you have to figure out you know is it because I'm I'm picking up that this person is just not truthful or that they they're just saying these things they're basically blowing the sunshine up your butt and they're not really being truthful with you so not the greatest read but it's definitely one um, I mean, it's not the worst, but it's, it's it's something for you to think about, I guess, for this next 10 days, okay? So um, if you need more clarity on this, again, if you want a personal reading, click one of the links in the description box below, and um, I will see you soon. All right, take care.